morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. Today is Thursday, December 21st, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. Team was off yesterday, so no injury report to start with. Let's dive right into the meat and potatoes Oh, the show. George Kittle was the guest with Rich Eisen earlier this week, and he was asked, is this team a Super Bowl team? We're winning a lot of football games. We're currently the one seed. Um, our quarterback's playing at an incredibly high level that you haven't seen for a long time. And all of our skill positions are close to 1,000 yards receiving or plus 1,000 yards rushing. And our defense is our defense. And so, yes, I feel like I'm on a very talented team that has every opportunity to continue to win out from here on out. He didn't say it, but he said it because he knows. Hell, they all know. We all know. This is a Super Bowl team. They know what they're capable of. They just have to go out and do it. Now, of course, you can't have an interview with a 49ers player without talking about Brock Purdy. So here's George defending Brock. Everyone just looks for, hey, what can I say today that people are going to argue with? And the one thing about 49ers fans is they like to argue with people who talk, you know, crap about any of their players, about their franchise. Yes. You know, Brock's playing at an incredibly elite high level consistently. Week in and week out, you know, 130 pass ratings, perfect pass ratings, doing everything that you're supposed to do as a quarterback. But just because he has good skill positions around him and a solid head coach and, you know, a pretty, a pretty good defense, I would say. Yes. uh, It's like, oh, I don't, he doesn't get the credit for it because everyone's doing all the work for him. Well, we can't do any of that work unless he's a guy throwing the ball. At this point, the Brock Purdy discussion is basically over. If you're not going to give him any credit, then you're just never going to give him any credit. And one more good game is not going to change your mind. So you do you. One more from Kittle now that I really, really liked. He was talking about Christian McCaffrey, and George has some bad news for NFL defenses. It was really fun. If you go back and like watch Christian from last when we got him early on, like he's – he's figured out how to run outside zone in our offense and like how to set up the blocks to make it easier on the offensive lineman. So then it makes it easier on him. Like if the running back and the tight ends aren't like, they're not running together. It's how you get like the, it's, you don't see all the awesome run plays, but he's figured it out. He's gotten so much better consistently. And now he's just playing at an elite level running behind our offensive line, tight ends and fullbacks. So it's, it's really fun. You should just, you guys should watch more Christian tape. I thought that was a really interesting answer because we don't usually think of running backs having to learn a system, but apparently, at least in San Francisco, according to George, you do. And there is a reason why CMC is fourth in the MVP odds. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Thursday, ESPN.com has a very long piece all about Frank Gore and his son, Frank Gore Jr., and all about Big Frank's career and his longevity and some of the injuries he played through. It was a fascinating deep dive. But the coolest thing going forward is, one, how Frank is using his knowledge to help his son become a football player in the National Football League, and he's using it to help the 49ers because, remember, Frank is part of the Niners scouting department now, and he says in the article He wants to succeed John Lynch as the GM. So just a really cool piece. If you got some time, if you want to read it, click the link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch, NFL Live spent a little time breaking down Christian McCaffrey yesterday. Spoiler alert, he's really good. Dan Orlovsky broke down how Kyle Shanahan uses CMC differently than other running backs. Again, link, description, see the pattern here. One thing you may have missed, the league finalized the events for the 2024 Pro Bowl. There's going to be dodgeball, tug of war, Madden competitions, and of course, the seven-on-seven flag football game. All I have to say is this. I hope not a single damn 49er is in that game, not because I don't want them to make the Pro Bowl, but because we all want them in the Super Bowl. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and five. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, please, and thank you. Hit the little bell. You'll be notified every day when we go live. We appreciate all your support all year long. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today.